Michael's here. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm happy to be here, and I hope that you are happy to be here as well. So today's video is a highly, 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 highly requested video, and it is kind of part of the game store role plays that I do. Um, but I get dozens of comments nearly every video asking for controller sounds. Okay, so. Normally, uh, in the game store role plays, I will use like a PS4 or lately a PS5 controller. But I thought, okay, if I'm gonna do a dedicated controller video for all of you, I gotta go a little bit bigger than that, right? So last night, I went out and bought, I think, five or six controllers for other uh, uh, for other consoles that you'll probably recognize, depending on how old you are. <laughs> Excited to present to you controller sounds, a dedicated video for you. Okay, so sit back, relax, whatever you do whilst watching ASMR, and let's do it. All right, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for being here. All right, so we're gonna start with the actually the first console that I ever owned in my life. We're going to start with the original NES. Okay. It's absolutely crazy to look at how far we've come from <laughs> A and B and a keypad. <laughs> it's crazy. But, um, yeah, this is definitely the first console that I ever had. I think the game that I played the most was Tetris on this, for sure. Um, so, I'll try to get some good tapping and controller sounds on here. And I think most of these controllers make slightly different sounds, so... Yes, if you were alive back then, they were not wireless. <laughs> 
is the NES. Let's see what's next. Okay, the next one is the next console that I had in my life. <laughs> this is like a trip down memory lane for me. This is the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And as you can see, they came a long way from the A and B. We got an X and a Y now too. <laughs> and again, not wireless, look at this plug. There's the plug for this one. <laughs> so yeah, Super Nintendo. And I think these buttons are a little deeper. Yeah, they're definitely a little deeper. actually that's the star button Okay. 
I love the design. I think 
Z button. Oh, I forgot. So this has a button on the back of it, and that's the Z. So a lot of the time, I think that was like turbo, like to run faster, I think. And then you could, right here, you could put rumble packs in. So this was before the technology, um, like on the DualShock ones, where they, you know, like vibrate. Um, these didn't do that, but you could put a rumble pack in here, and it would stick out pretty far. It made the controller heavy actually but you could put a rumble back in and then play like madden and it would rumble when you got tackled and stuff but i completely forgot about the z button
the funny thing is, I genuinely don't even own any consoles. <laughs> so I just have this box of controllers for ASMR videos. that on the PS, uh, the PS2, one of my favorite games is Tekken, uh, Tekken 5, and I used to play like this, so instead of like, instead of with thumbs like normal, I would do thumb and then up, thumb and up like this, because I used to play Tekken on an arcade, right, and so I was just used to the button combinations. So 
that is indeed the PS5 controller. Okay. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Like I said in every video, <laughs> um, I have so many cool things. And, and honestly, out of every time I've said this, 